Well, it's Saturday morning, about 8.45. I'm going to be going out beetle hunting, looking for some tiger beetles up around the uh, Trinity area. So uh, join me on this adventure. Hopefully we can uh, find something and stay safe. I've never um, caught a tiger beetle before. I'm not sure if I'm going to be successful. We'll see how this uh, trip ends. I'm going to drive to Trinity about 30 minutes in a little town, I think Glendale, which is uh, maybe five minutes away to a creek. And uh, walk down there and we'll see what we can find. Well, for about 40 minutes of driving, uh, went past Trinity to Glendale. Here's a Glendale road at the Little White Rock Creek. It's way up here in the middle of nowhere, way back in the woods. Um, Little White Rock Creek is uh, in front of me over there. Another vehicle parked. A man and it looks like some kids got out. They're going to the same location I am. Not sure what they're doing here, but we'll find out. So I'm going to get my net and backpack and uh, walk down there. But here's the bridge in front of me. As you can see, this is a very rural area. Uh, see if everything works out all right. This is what I'm bringing with me. See, I got my net. Got a can of uh, wasp and hornet killer if I see any uh, tiger beetles. I guess I was told I can shoot them with that. That'll temporarily disable them where I can catch them. Here they're kind of difficult to catch. They're real fast and also got some uh, bug spray. I'm going to have a backpack with some uh, specimen container jars and old pill bottles you can see so let's see what we can find um, this is going to be interesting well, let's walk down here and see what we can find uh, sure what the best way to get down here is. There's a little path down this side. That's a little steep. I don't think I want to walk down there. Let me walk across the bridge here. Like an old uh, dilapidated train trestle. Walk down this trail here. We got some dragonflies. Uh, might be able to snag me some of these. Uh. This is supposed to be an area where I was told they have uh, tiger beetles near these uh, areas of water. They like this white, white area here where it's supposed to be a kind of salty type soil. <clears throat> and they're supposed to hang out here. I'm not sure if uh, this is a good spot. I don't know if there's some sandy area on the other side of the river or this creek. It's interesting. Um, formations here, this rock on the side of the river. Might need to get across the body of water. Find some tiger beetles on the uh, sand over here. This seems more like rock. Well, that's kind of cool.
Well, I'm walking back up the way I came. You can see the uh, bridge and the train trestle. You can see the family up ahead. I think I'm gonna maybe walk up there if I can find some petrified wood. Never looked for that before either, so not sure what that looks like, but I um, think I can spot it. Sure, what that is? Uh, charcoal. People do some barbecuing around here, or what? Uh, well, I think I'm gonna head back and try to go off over to the other side. Got me what I think are some pieces of petrified wood. It's a nice pink color. Wow, look at that. I think that's a keeper. Yeah, got some uh, birds here. Looks like probably some sparrows and an echo, 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 echo. Somebody tried to drive their truck up through here. A lot of dragonflies. Uh, well, this is the uh, kind of dirt area near the river. Supposedly the tiger beetles like to hang out at. Even in the midst of uh, this rural, I guess you could say beauty, there's trash. Somebody dumped a uh, old chair here right in the uh, middle of the river. It's pretty sad. Still haven't seen any uh, tiger beetles. Uh, but uh, don't, I won't be walking away empty-handed. I got some, what I think is some petrified wood. So uh, it was just an interesting uh, excursion to get out here in the middle of nature. Kind of in the middle of nowhere. Well, the expedition has been a success. I caught me a... Uh, tiger beetle that's in this jar it's very quick and uh, I threw my uh, net on it I didn't know if it was a tiger beetle but uh, yes the expedition has been a success you can see that it's very quick well I just ran into some uh, local area people you can see them down there with the uh, metal detectors I guess they're trying to find their uh, retirement stash um, but the lady was very nice and said she just grew up down the road and a lot of people come here just kind of for fun get out in nature petrified wood she did verify uh, what I got was petrified wood by the she said you can tell by the uh, clanking clanking sound they make so this turned out to be a uh, good experience I caught uh, two tiger beetles a uh, butterfly large yellow butterfly I don't know what it is and also a uh, red uh, I don't know if it's a spider black or I thought it was a some type of bee or wasp but it was hard hard to say so uh, I didn't want to take any chances with it and I just put it in the uh, pill bottle and I'm gonna check it out once I get home it's actually a beautiful scenic uh, creek or crick as they call it in uh, in the Texas language, crick. It's starting to get hot, so I need to get home. My truck parked down the road, road there a bit. Well, I think the uh, trip.
trip was a success. I got here about 9.30 and it's about 11 o'clock. It's been about an hour and a half. Got some petrified wood. It's a pocket full. I think I got about four or five uh, pieces, different colors. It's cool. I wasn't planning on that. Also got a uh, butterfly, a, another type of insect. Not sure if it's a uh, spider or or some type of bee or wasp. It was black and big red uh, colorations on it. Something I'd never seen before. And as I was about to give up and start walking home, I saw something on the ground and um, looked at it. Looked like a type of beetle. Got away a couple times, but I ended up getting two tiger beetles. So yes, it was a success. So well, it's time to, to head home and uh, We'll have a video once I get home of what we got. Well, hey, I'm back from my trip to uh, the creek where I got two tiger beetles. A uh, insect that I'm going to tell you about a little bit more right now. And a uh, butterfly. So I'm, let me go inside the house and I'll show you what I got. Well, now I'm back from my trip um, going bug hunting looking for tiger beetles and I did find some petrified wood so this is the uh, examples of the petrified wood that I found and it's pretty cool they're very hard these kind of look like pieces of wood you can see kind of the grain and the wood here and I like these too they're um, real colorful this is almost a kind of reddish uh, type of color. This is um, kind of brown with uh, stripes or streaks in it. And then this one has uh, black uh, lines and streaks and brown. So and on this side, different colors. So I uh, looked online what petrified wood is. And it, it's actually a special type of fossil that forms when plant material is buried under sediment and avoids decaying because of a lack of oxygen. So water rich in minerals such as quartz, silicate, calcite, pyrite, and opal begin to flow through it, slowly replacing the organic remains with stone in a process called permineralization. And the minerals over millions of years, so these seem to be millions of years old, which is quite fascinating to me, eventually crystallize in the tree or the wood material. And the organic material will eventually decompose and the remaining fossil will essentially become a stone. So yeah, this is kind of a stone and you can see it's very hard. So that's my collection of um, the petrified wood that I got. Okay, this is what I uh, went to uh, look for on my trip for uh, tiger beetles. I caught two, and they're the same species, so they both look like this. I'm just going to show you this one. See, it has uh, Cicindella raponda. It has uh, very big eyes and a very unique looking uh, beetle. And it has markings on the back, which is kind of maybe where it gets its name from. But there are more than 2,600 species of tiger beetles, but they're named for their voracious eating habits of the larva and the adults, which is the adult here. But they are very rapid uh, runners and flyers and, the, and the fastest insect on our planet. They actually run so fast that they lose the ability to see once they start moving, then have to stop to try to focus on their prey again. The fastest tiger beetle, I think, is in Australia, can run 5.6 miles an hour, and that's really 120 times its body length in each second, so that's very fast. So, in it is an equivalent or comparison, that would mean a sprinter, a human being, would have to run 480 miles an hour as a comparison to how fast these guys are uh, to their body length. But this uh, specific species here in the U.S. can run 1.2 miles per hour, which is still very fast for its size. So that's the uh, tiger beetle. Show you the markings here.
on the back. And like I said, I also found another insect while I was out there, and I, th I mentioned in the video I thought it might have been a spider or possibly a wasp, but it was crawling on the ground. As you can see, it didn't have any wings, and I didn't know what it was. I never saw this bright color before. And actually, when I got home, did some research, found that it's called a red velvet ant. But actually, it's not an ant at all. It's actually a type of wasp. And it's the female uh, of this uh, species, and the females are wingless. They don't have wings and can't fly. The males do have wings, but the interesting thing is the males cannot sting, but the females can sting. And their sting is uh, said to be quite, quite painful. And on a scale of one to four on the pain chart, it's three out of four. So it's not something you want to be stung by. It does have a nickname called the cow killer, the cow killer, because I guess there's a urban myth that uh, sting from this can kill a cow, which is not true. But this is uh, what I came across. I've never seen one of these before um, on my outing. So again, this is a red velvet ant, a.k.a. the cow killer, which is actually a type of wasp. And uh, finally, um, I did say I had caught a butterfly while I was out there as I was leaving. And this is uh, what I caught. It's a giant swallowtail butterfly, which happens to be the largest butterfly in North America.